Welcome to my channel to Seek and to Save. I have a challenge for you today. If you have the courage to listen to this biblical question, let's find out if you have the mental acuity to understand the question. This being said, my videos require that the audience be biblically mature. Generally speaking, a person becomes biblically mature somewhere in their 20s, assuming they had a good parental upbringing in the Bible. So, firstly, quickly, let's set the scene. After Christ's crucifixion, all of those who were around him at the time scattered, knowing that the Roman government was hot on their heel. When eventually these privileged few who saw Christ perform these miracles were caught one at a time and brought up before the ruling authorities, who then asked them one simple question, will you recant these things you've been saying about Jesus Christ? Recant and just walk away. Or otherwise, for saying these things, you will be tortured to death. Your choice. Here's the question. Why did each one of these precious souls choose not to recant and just walk away, but chose to be tortured to death? The simple answer is most powerful. They saw Christ perform these miracles with their own eyes. They know the truth, and that truth has set them all free, even from the threat of a torturous death. Let me make a simple and important statement here. A martyr does not martyr himself to that thing that he knows is false. Do you understand the gravity of what is being said here? Do you have the mental acuity I previously mentioned to understand the answer? Since the time of Christ, millions and millions of precious souls have martyred themselves because of the truth of what you just learned in these last few minutes. For Christians, the blood sacrifice of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ saves us. This we know. But as proven here, it is the blood sacrifice of the martyrs that proves to us beyond any shadow of a doubt that the Christ story in Scripture is 100% true. This now for me, and should be for any other Christian, a tangible faith, rock-solid foundational faith. Most martyrs at the time of their martyrdom considered, I'm sure, those who were watching. It was the martyr's last opportunity to seek and to save another precious soul. What you have to believe at this point in your life is that Jesus Christ did all of those things and said all of those things that are written about him in our holy scriptures. It is wrong for you to believe that you are automatically saved because of your attendance in church. Fellowshipping is important. But this is a small part of what's necessary for your salvation. The major soul-saving part is that you believe beyond any shadow of a doubt that Christ healed the sick, gave sight to the blind, hearing to the deaf, and raised back to life people who were truly dead. His resurrection from his own death seals our salvation as long as we have this rock-solid centric belief that all of this took place. The eyewitness accounts of the martyrs proves that it did. Without this fundamental belief, you will not be able to understand most of the Holy Scriptures. This is the purpose of this video, to make you believe it. If this video has helped you with your belief system, then please 
pass it on so that we all collectively, together as part of the Christian community, can be equal to the task of the Great Commission given to us by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Briefly stated here, go ye therefore into all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of time. In finishing, may I quote from Congressional Medal of Honor winner Desmond Doss, who in a brutal field of battle known as Hacksaw Ridge, in an unimaginable act of bravery, saving 75 wounded soldiers all by himself, walking back into the carnage one wounded soldier at a time, asked his Father in Heaven, Help me get one more. One more. Help me get one more. So as Desmond Doss prayed to his Father in Heaven to save just one more soldier, let us pray to our Father in Heaven that as a good Christian who's equal to the task of the Great Commission, let us save just one more soul, Lord, just one more soul.